Hello, Dean, and welcome back to Scott Wonders World. See, don't need to say it, so I'll just say it myself. Bloody creaking. That's better. That must be creaking against the shed, the back of the shed. Anyway, you do want to know that. Um, who's that? My good friend Dean. Um, went into Tesco's. Wonders um, went shopping on the bus. I went to pick her up um, in, in the car, not on the bus. Can't get the bus in the car, but I've tried. It's not a TARDIS. And as you do, well, as I do, I walk down the beer aisle, just either pick some up for, for the evening, maybe one, or see what else is in there. And this one caught my eye. So it says new. Oh yeah, what we got here? The lady's coming through mid, in the middle of an in, in the middle Sorry, of Sorry, I'm really excited about this. Gravy mayonnaise. Yeah. In Morrison's. Oh, I guess we're going to Morrison's. Where are we going to Morrison's? Sorry. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, I'm hoping it'll be like the gravy nades and the KFC burger. Well, is it out now? Yeah. All right. Sorry. That's right. And uh, a voice message from the, the, the Blue Bear Man to the Pyramid. Um, yeah, anyway, back to the beer. Uh, so it says no. Um, another Northern Monk are prolific, absolutely prolific into um, Tesco's and Morrison's. I don't know if what they've got into Asda, if anything, to be fair. Um, but probably, uh, I know Brewdog are on a different level, let's be honest. But craft beer wise, probably the biggest um, brewery in the supermarkets that are constantly knocking stuff out. Now, this one. And the reason that I stopped was because of the name of the beer. And obviously it's called Faith in Futures. Uh, double dry hopped IPA, 6.2% ABV. And it's a twist edition. Now I do know there is another version of Faith in Futures. I've had it, <coughs> but I haven't, I haven't taken a look at it. So I think it tells you on the back of there. Um, so soft and hazy IPA, hopped with Azaka, Citra and Sabro. So it's listing the <coughs> the hops in this. I'm just going to check to see if it's the same beer or not. Uh, Faith in Futures. Faith in Futures. A double dry hopped IPA. To see if we have the same beer or not. So this is the can that's in. I am overage. Thank you for asking. Oh, you're welcome, Scott. Um, so this is one that that I was thinking it was, and obviously it is a different can wrap. Also, this is six point five percent. This is 6.2. Um, what does it say this has got in it? Uh, Azeka, Citra and Sabro. And it details on the Northern Monk website. Uh, the, this IPA is all about the juice, showcasing the twin co combination of El Dorado and Citra. So it's a different beer. Which is good. Don't want to review some of this beer. Uh, Faith in Futures, so uh, it's in collaboration with SKGN. Back to the iPad. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming, have I got, I don't know if I've got Instagram on here. There we go. Have a look. SK. Talk about yourselves. SKGN. Such. SKGN. Still, so oh, here we go. SKGN. Oh, okay, um, Saki. There's a, a, a guy called Sam Nicklin. I'm assuming he's responsible for the um, the can art. So give him a follow on on the Instagram. Anyway, I'll wait for more next. I'll be chatting on for four minutes and forty four seconds now. Uh, yeah, so Faith and Futures Double Dry Hopped IPA. This is in the three pound range. Like the can art, very simple, um, very nice. Uh, don't know what SKGN's all about. I say it's obviously just the the, the artist. 
I forgot to bring my glasses out. So soft and hazy IPA hopped with a Zaka, Citra, a Sabro for juicy tropical fruit aromas, assertive lingering finish. Uh, can't go wrong with a Northern Monk beer. I've got a Northern Monk glass, but it's that. Um, what was that fucking thing I had? The crisp one, the purple thing around it. Isn't it? I use my awakening glass. I wish that already by me. Very rarely does anything go wrong with a Northern Monk beer into a supermarket. So I'm hoping for another crack, especially at three pounds. <coughs> Not some of those bubbles off. In the glass. Looks lovely. Absolute cracking. Um, one finger, tight white head. And we're on a sort of yellowy, orangey, um, very murky, hazy colour. It looks like a a well-made more uh, Northern Monk beer. So let's get an aroma and see what we get. Looking forward to this one. Jumping. Huge amounts of orange, loads of citrus, lemon and lime, some mango. You pick up that, so this has got Sabro in it, you're picking the Sabro up, so you get that sort of, I always get sort of, sort of almost like um, a coconutty sherbet -y sort of aroma from the Sabro. Got tangerine. -y. That smells lovely. The hops are absolutely banging out of that. It smells absolutely fantastic. Cheers. Oh, that is absolutely fantastic. That's banging. Bang, bang, bang. Really hoppy, really hoppy. Up front, you get hit by this massive amount of tropical flavors. The loads of orange, um, some mango, there's some pine. There's some, um, there is a little bit of coconut in there. You're getting the tangerine flavors. It's, and then it, it sort of settles, it, you get the rush of the flavors up front and it dies away. I'm getting a carbonation rush. And it leaves quite a dry finish. Nice, dry, bittering finish. Hoppy finish that makes you want to go back for some more. Smells lovely. Tastes lovely as well. It's a very, very well made. That dry hopping really pulls those flavours through. I have absolutely no complaints about that beer at all. Zero. It's three pounds. Again, when you talk about that one's four pound. I reviewed that last week. Superb. In Tesco's. Three pound in Tesco's. It's, it's mental. <coughs> the world we live in, where these sort of beers are in our local supermarkets. That is an absolute stormer. Stormer of a beer. Um, I haven't seen it in, the, the, in Tesco's before, so it's definitely a, a new variant on um, Faith and Futures. It is an absolute banger of a beer. Go and get it and let us know what you think of it, because I think you're going to love it. Um, once, you've had, once you've had it, let us know in the comments below. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I will give it a thumbs up, thumbs down in the middle. Lovely. Absolutely, I wasn't going to have a beer this week, saw that, I thought I'm having, I'm having that. 
Um, and it's it's fucking brilliant. Absolutely wonderful beer. I can't sing its praises highly enough. For three pounds, it just shows you what a beer can be brewed at for three pounds and you get the shit that Brewdog has thrown into a supermarket. Unbelievable. Um, great beer. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. I don't care. Um, support, if you'd like to support the channel, you can hit the subscribe button. There's a join button if you want to go a little bit further. And myself and Wanda, we'll see you very soon. Have a great day. Thank you, Mo.